He took off again. He went to his parents' house again. <laughs> it's all because his dad has money and he offers him things and he thinks that's the only way he could survive. <laughs> you don't know the full story, horror. I'm sorry. <laughs> The answer is no better than him. His dad keeps bribing him with money. I even tried talking to him about my feelings, and he won't even listen. We were having a good morning until he kept checking his phone. I even told him that I'd bort the baby just for him to stay. I told him even if I am pregnant, I would abort the baby just to make him stay. Just make him realize that I'm willing to go to any lengths. He just said, Renee, that he was going to talk to his dad about getting us a cabin for a week. After the hotel. I'm willing to do anything to keep him. <laughs> no, Karina, I'm not. <laughs> My man took off on me, left me in the hotel by myself again. <laughs> I know people would. I did. I told him, are you going to leave again? He said no. But he did. He took off. He went to his parents' house again because they have money. That's all it is with him is money. It's all about money. That's all he wants. Too, Peggy. Renee, get rid of this one. We already got a twat waffle in here. I don't know what I'm going to do after Friday. We've only got tonight, to, tonight and tomorrow night, and then we have nowhere to go. Let me try something beautiful. I'm going to try taking it away from you 
and then giving it back. See if that works. See if that works. <laughs> Michaela, he took off again. He's not answering his phone. It's going straight to voicemail. It means he's back at his parents' house again. <laughs> he took off on me again. I don't know you. <sighs> Since 11.30, it's now 12.30. He's been gone for an hour. <sighs> I don't have his parents' number. I'm gonna make some coffee because I haven't eaten since this morning. It's not good. Everybody in here can tell you what's going on. It's all because of money. They have money, and that's what he wants to stabilize us. <sighs> Thanks, Dark. <sighs> it's all about money. The fact that his parents have a ton of money, he just wants to keep going back to them for it. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just can't deal with him going back to his narcissistic fucking toxic father. <sighs> I don't know why. His family was talking about putting us in a campground for a week and then they would figure out something from there. My destiny. I appreciate that. Go recap you, Jacqueline. Just getting something to eat.
I mind. Two more nights. That's all I have. Tonight and tomorrow night, and that's it. I check out Friday morning. I don't really care if I am pregnant or not anymore. He took all my stuff with him. The rest of my stuff is in the car. He took his wallet. Yeah, I know. His dad has more influence over him than I do. I don't care if I am or not. I don't care about that anymore. It's both our cars. It's under both our names. You're not muted. I'm at a hotel for two more nights. For tonight and tomorrow night and that's it. together for almost seven months. <laughs> Hi, Mikey. You don't understand, Jessica. The comments are going so fast. Yes, my jello. I have tried calling him Nicole. He won't answer. I'm not asking for money.
We have trolls in here, and I'm just gonna put my phone down and ignore people right now until shit hit goes down. I can't do that. I just need the fucking trolls to get out of here. Oh. oh, hey Luna. I know, hun. Thank you. Sorry, <sighs> allergies are acting up. This is the second time he's done this. He did this yesterday. He drank two beers and then took off for three hours. Came back and told me that his dad beat the shit out of him with the stock end of a shotgun. And I might be pregnant because I haven't had my period. I don't understand him, really. I'm not alive. He's scared. he's scared because of the fact that he's seen a thing about the Nor'eastern that's going to hit this winter. He kept saying we can't keep running. I asked him what he meant by that, and he said, we can't keep running from state to state. I was like, we're not running from state to state. We're trying to get away from your family. Because what I what I've heard that his family is toxic and that's not good for anybody. Can't stand that shit. His dad is a narcissistic racist asshole. He hates me because I'm Latino. Wow. That's not the half of it. He told he told him that the only reason I'm with him is to suck his dick and his money. No, you love him.
Because I know for a fact, if you didn't love him, you would not got married to him. I mean, yeah, it's nice that his dad paid for the hotel room, but I know he's going to want something in return. He told me last night his dad got a house. His dad is thinking of buying a house and giving it to him for us to live in. I'm like, yeah, well, what does he want out of it? Right. No, it wasn't a KFC bowl. It's a Jimmy Dean bowl. <laughs> There's a thing we don't know. If he's, we don't know if he's coming back. What hold does his dad have over him? His VA card. His dad fucked his VA shit up. He was in the army and his dad, he got, he came out of the army. He told me everything, the truth. He was in the military and he came back on leave. And his dad pretty much turned around and fucked his whole record up. So he doesn't even, he's not even in the system of the VA. But yeah, his dad yesterday showed his VA card. His dad's using his VA card and his uncle's VA card for benefits. The thing is, his dad, his dad has connections to one amount of people. I'd rather not say on here because they're not very nice people. Fuck. Starts with an M, ends with an A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, Deb. The second thing, yeah. Yeah. With crawling back to his family. I'm in PA. I'm in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay. I'm in the Poconos area. No, no, Alicia, I'm not. I'm in the Poconos area. Danville. I'm in Blakesville or Blakesley. 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 Yeah. That's what it says on the phone for the hotel. No, I'm not originally from PA. I'm from Massachusetts. You need to know how old I am, just check my bio. <sighs> Two nights, tonight and tomorrow night, and that's it. <sighs> I 
I'm only here for two nights, tonight and tomorrow night, and that's it. I don't have a home. You got bananas? My family disowned me. I don't have anybody I can stay with. I won't go to shelters because they're not kind. I've been in shelters before and they're not nice. People steal shit. I can't control what my moderators do. If they don't see a nice comment coming from you, they'll block you. That's not my fault. They do their own thing. The thing is, I have assistance, but it only comes once a month, and it's already gone. It's still too early to tell if I am. I even tried to take a pregnancy test this morning, and it's negative. It's still too early to tell. I can even show you guys. I still have it. This is the one from yesterday. This is the one from this morning. Still too early to tell. And I only have one test left. The thing is, I can't get a blood test out here. I called to one of the walk-in clinics, and they said unless my insurance is in Pennsylvania, they can't help me. I'm a week late. Urgent care told me the same thing. ER won't help. The most they'll do is a pee test. They won't do a blood test. I've already called around. They won't help. It's not stress. I'm perfectly calm. It's different, Starkey, in every state. I'm in the Poconos. PA. Yeah. He took off again, Amanda. Hi, Sissy. We were. I'm not okay. Let's go. I can't. 
all he told me before he left that he was going to talk to his dad to see if he could get us a cabin for a week in the campground they wanted to send us to. My insurance doesn't work out of state because they don't have the same insurance out here. You don't understand the situation. I'm sorry. His dad lives two cities over. We're not running. Yeah, I want to change my shit over, but I don't have an address to change it to. It's almost two hours, almost an hour and a half ago. No, his dad's a narcissistic, Julie. I'm not going to answer any more questions because people are fucking being idiots. And now I have one fucking cigarette left. <sighs> Love you too, mama. Skull knows my story. Skull knows if I could get to Delaware, I would. But he took the car, so I can't get anywhere. We both own the car. We're making both make been making payments on it. I can't drive the car because I don't have I don't have money. Yo, yo, yo. He took off again. I don't have a PayPal. I only have Cash App and it's in my bio. No, I woke up. We had breakfast. We had a good morning. We were both saying I love you, cuddling. Got up, got dressed, went downstairs, had breakfast, and then he was on his phone. I said, okay, are we going to go to, are we going to go to the clinic? I, he said that he wanted me to call, see if they would accept my insurance. I called, they said no, they would not accept my insurance because it's out of state. There has to be a free clinic of some sort. Have to call over the phone to make payments on the car. There has to be a free clinic of some sort. I've checked into everything. I checked even into the the hospitals, the closest hospital nearby, and they said they won't do a blood test. They could just do a pee test. I was like, I've already taken pee test, and it didn't come up. I don't know the area, Peggy. And everything's not close. I'm in literally on top of a mountain right now. I wish I could hug you, but I'm not there. Y'all deserve each other. His dad's a jerkwad. He just needs to block him.
He's a narcissistic. He told he told Alpha straight up. He told D that I'm only with him because I want to suck his dick and his money. No, that's far from it. He told me he told his dad, you don't even want to fucking get to know her. He's just as bad as my mom. He needs to block him for a while. His dad said that he was pretty much gonna um he was gonna get us a whole uh week in a campground till they could figure something else out. Because his dad told him that he got a house and he was gonna give it to us. I'm like, yeah, what? So he could take it right back after we moved in? Yeah, no. Yes, Boss Baby is a mod. No, Michelle, okay. because I gave you they a little won't bit take more. me because of my health insurance. I've been saving all of, all of the gifts on here because I can't cash them out. Because if I cash it out, it goes to him. It's under his PayPal. Why can't you make one? Because they say that I owe money because somebody fucking made under my email, a business account, and now it owes taxes. Can't you do another email? I don't have any other emails. Yeah, there has to be, there has to be something that you can do. Girl, y'all need to find a spot and get away from PA or something. I know it's going to take a lot of money, and I get that, but Y'all's mental state is more important, especially if you're pregnant too, girl. He you says know? his main thing is he hates that everybody downgrades him. And I tried telling him, I was like, your actions speak louder than your words. The fact that you keep taking off and going back to your parents' house is just proving that you don't want to be with me. You're more worried about being with them for the money. I know it takes money to survive, but he needs to understand that he's doing this to himself right now. I appreciate that, Kells. I appreciate that, Kells. I'm going to pause my live real quick. Um... Oh, uh, won't let me. Hmm. Look. Yeah. Got yours. Mango mm. Pepsi. Never had that one. I got regular Pepsi, too. Seeing you put the Pepsis on him last night was... I know he was in pain or the other night, but it was kind of funny. He's like, ah! It's in my bio. Yes, I do have a cash app card. That is correct. I know. I know your different faith and beliefs and spirituality and healing, but they do help, Luna. No. You can't use whatever goes to my cash app because it's my card. 
He has his own cash app, but I have my own card. And the thing is, he doesn't realize, and he fails to realize this, Mama. Mm. He has to stay with me until we get an address because I get his check on this card every month. I was nice enough to give him my cash app information so he could get his benefits. And his benefits will show up on the 29th of this month. Dude. Dom, have you heard from him? Dom hasn't I haven't heard anything has from him. He gets survivor benefits from his mother, and I get actual SSI. He took off again, Dom. I don't know if he went bad. He could have. He could not have. He could be just to get out. He told me today that he didn't want to go anywhere because we didn't have enough gas. And now he's out. Yeah. Something's feeding into it that's not adding up. Yeah, he does have a cell phone. All right, Dom. Well. Dark. Behave. Dark said he was going over there to steal your gushers. Uh-uh, my gushers. That's one thing you don't do still hey, these for me. Hey, dark, dark evil, you can come over here. I got cookies. I got Halloween cookies. Can mama come over? He is. He is feeding him bullshit, Chaya. He's telling him that I'm just in it for fucking sucking his dick and stupid shit. Then all I want is his money. I'm a gold digger. I'm not a gold digger. I'm actually trying to teach him how to be smart with his money. His dad puts stupid shit into his head thinking that he's better off. Oh, God, no. You just did not go there, Christy. Really? Christy, Christy Lee said moist gushers. I love Mama JK. Whatever, nasty. <laughs> okay. Says, Please. Then you chew with your mouth closed because these were in the freezer and these are a little bit harder than normal. So, Oh, Dean would be having a field day with this. Are they moist cookies? Does this tell you? You can come to my house. Okay. What she's saying is that he's being fed a bunch of BS and y'all need to respect that they're trying. No, it wasn't while I was in the shower. It's after I left the car and I came up here because I thought we were going to the clinic. But after I called the clinics and they said they don't take my insurance... He pretty much took off, even though he said we didn't have enough gas to go anywhere. I wonder if it's car. No, Jessica. 
I don't know the area too well to know, know where anything is. The walk-in clinic that he was t- going to take me to is uh, St. Luke's. I'm sorry. You're going to tell me you leave him. You don't understand the full story. He's about two cities over. How do you know where he's at? His dad lives in Broadheadsville. Oh. I know the exact address. We've been there before. Oh, yeah, sorry. but even if I find one, Jessica, I can't get to it. I don't have a vehicle. Yeah, because whenever he doesn't answer his phone, he's always with his dad. Well, here's my suggestion. Do what you want with it. Take some time to breathe. Relax. Text him how much you miss him and love him. And that you're worried about him. And to answer when you can. Well, I've already texted him and told him that I'm worried. And I told him that I'm willing to even go to the lengths of aborting this baby just to keep him. He told me last night when I told him that I was going to willing to go that far, he told me not to. He even said it on live that he was going to give up drinking. He even told Bobby that he was going to quit cold turkey and stop having thoughts of sneaking out and trying to get drinks. Yeah, that means true love. No, his phone's off. I can't find him. I called his phone and it went straight to voicemail and I called four times. you know any of the neighbors or anything, any way connected to his parents' neighbors? How much does he normally drink daily before he was living with me or while he was living with me? I'm not answering that question. It's none of your business. No, he didn't say he was going to his dad's. See, the thing is, I think he is fighting for her. But he still loves his dad, but it's hard to emotionally do. Why is that? He's 31. (laughs) He didn't say boss baby. He hasn't said anything yet. He hasn't come back in. So I don't know yet. His dad doesn't believe that I'm pregnant. Because his dad believes that he has a low T count. And I call bullshit.
That's the thing, Sammy. I've told him he needs to stand up to his father. Ever since his mom died, his his dad's been like this. Ever since his real mom died, he's been like this to him. And he doesn't just take his anger out on him. He also takes his anger out on his little brother and then says that his little brother fell when it's actually his dad abusing him. Mm-hmm. His little brother is only 15 years old, and he was chasing after his car yesterday after D left, begging D to take him because he didn't want to stay there. That's how afraid this 15-year-old boy is of his own father. Yeah, but the fact that the, his dad has custody of his little brother, I can't do anything. It, it's not going to matter if I report it. They're going to have to find actual I'm evidence. trying. I want to get a house. I want to get a house or an apartment, whatever comes first. Get myself settled, get myself a laptop, get my fucking damn schooling done. Because once I get my federal marshal license, I'm going back to that house with a whole bunch of fucking cops. And I'm fucking arresting his dad and taking his little brother. Wait, and if the that wife be- that he has right now fucking does anything, I'll have her arrested too. Because I don't care. She's being a bitch because she's letting him, his father, fucking manipulate her too. My friend Beth has not been on because she just got hit with the fucking worst news of the world. She lives 20 minutes away, but she's in New York right now burying two people. She lost her daughter and her daughter lost the baby. Her daughter was pregnant and she lost the baby and her daughter. I'm sorry. She doesn't know when she'll be back to PA. But I told her, I was like, I'll be here. But Beth wants to help. Beth was even talking about coming out and getting me when hubby disappeared yesterday. I think he'll come back. I don't really care about the pregnancy shit anymore. I don't care if I am or not. If I fucking miscarriage on my own, I don't care. He's pushing me to that. I will, sissy. Check my bio. You're going to ask me how old I am? Check my bio. If you didn't check my bio, then you don't know. This is an 18 plus life, so if you're not 18, you're going to have to get out. And if you're not going to be honest about being 18, then you're really going to get booted out. Really broken? No, broken's fine. I know broken. Okay. Broken's fine. They're not being rude. But see how the number went down? Mm-hmm. I'm not playing games. If you were under 18, get the hell out of my life. I know you did it, beautiful. You're fine. You're fine. I just didn't know. Well, I think he'll come back. Mostly, Chaya. 
There's still 132 people in here, so most of them are trolls just hiding in the background, which they need to leave. You're not over 18. Get out. I know. You're fine, Amanda. Yes, it's hammer time, boss. Say hello to my little find, friend. Find the twat waffles and get them out. Hi, lovely Lynn. Hi, lovely Lynn. It's okay, Desiree. You guys are fine. You're fine, haunting. It's okay. You're fine. You're not one of the Dwight Waffles. You're fine. You guys are fine. No. My hubby freaking took off on me again. And he's probably with his family trying to get money. I'm in a hotel for tonight and tomorrow night. And I don't know where I'll be. I don't know. He just said the last thing he said. The last conversation we had was in the car. He said, we can't keep running. And I said, running what do you mean running? And he said, we can't keep running from state to state every time somebody says that they're going to help on a whim and then we get fucked over. And I don't give a fuck about people in your lives saying that to leave me, fuck them. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, people have said that, but they're fucking twat waffles. They're not purposely saying that. It's they don't understand the situation and they've been booted out of my life. Do you think I'm listening to that? No, I'm not. Then he said he was going to talk to his dad about getting a cabin because they were going to put us up in the campground for a week. You can't be on the floor. That's why I said he said he was going to ask his dad to get a, a cabin instead wow. of an actual being in the tent. I'm hoping so. Last time he took off for three hours, and it's already two hours since he left. Any twat waffles need to leave now. He does have his phone, but it's turned off. Hey, Skittles. Skittles is one of my longtime friends. She's been with me for a very fucking long time. She knows me in person. Skittles taste the rainbow. 
Hey, sis. By the way, guess what I just did? No. Farted. <laughs> I got you to smile a little. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Anybody that comes into my life is family. They're not friends. I don't have friends. I have family. Everybody in here that shows me love and support is family. No, the only one person that is close isn't even home. She's actually in New York burying her daughter and her granddaughter. You are family, Bridge. See, what makes a person part of my family is when I add you and you add me. When you add me and I add you back and I see your good peoples, you become part of my family. I might be good people, but she puts up with me. That's just a given. That evil is one of my... I Don't give me that look. You. So here's what I'm thinking. I've been on this app since, like... I've been on this app since musically. And I've had thousands of people say they're family. But when they all got famous, I disappeared from their lives. I appreciate that, Mary. All right, beautiful. Boss Baby has been with me since Musical.ly. That's how long Boss Baby's been with me. She's been with me since I started on Musical.ly, before it became TikTok. She's seen how much I've grown and where I've been. She's one of my original OGs. Okay, hey, sis, I'll be right back, okay? She's one of my OGs. She's been there through it all. I went to check my cash app real quick. I went to check my cash app. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't judge because I've been there. I'm only 36 years old, but I've seen and done a lot of shit in my life that I regret. But I've also seen a lot of fucking people. Dom didn't get back to me yet. Not yet, Melanie. But I've been through a lot growing up. 
I've been abused growing up. That's why I have Social Security, because I have PTSD from being abused as a child. It's not fun. Aggressive males trigger me. I can't be around guys that are very aggressive and get loud. It triggers me into a PTSD fit. Thank you, Julia. No, I'm just letting you know a little bit about me. I even got this shirt because of National Night Out. And if I ever... I can actually show you what's on the back of this shirt. Because I respect this shirt. Because it's National Night Out. It happens every August 3rd. This is what it says on the back of the shirt. I know it's backwards, but just try to figure it out. It's in memory of those that have fallen. Crimes they didn't commit. My favorite color is blue. Elizabeth, not right now. I'm in Pennsylvania. No, I'm not okay, Elizabeth. He took off again. Best date I ever visited. Um... It's a hard one. I'd have to say Indiana. My favorite animal is wolves. Yeah, Maggie, he took off again. Went back to dad's. Yeah, I went through Indiana. Favorite season? Hmm. Fall. I'm a fall baby. My birthday is actually on the 30th of this month. No, he wasn't drinking today. That's a good thing. He took his wallet. Favorite holiday? Hmm. That's a tough one. Christmas, definitely. Not because of the presents, mainly just being with family. I do have food and pop. I'm just running low on cigarettes. <laughs> Favorite food? Pizza. I like Halloween too. Halloween's my other favorite. Mm-hmm. The feeling of being surrounded by family on Christmas is the main reason I like Christmas. Because it's not about the presents. It's about being around your family because you as yourself is the greatest gift on Christmas. Favorite TV show? That's toughy. Um, I have two favorites. I like NCIS and CSI.
I did, and it's negative. Didn't work. I like Criminal Minds, too. I like mainly, I, I, the type of shows I like is like the criminal shows. I'm not muted. Favorite musical artist? I don't really have a favorite musical 